about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The only thing, help them please, help that man. The only thing that moves forward is your age. He says the spirit of God is upon me. I want to pray for you. Now, please listen. Let's just walk with these instructions as much as possible. We can use these aisles. Don't come near where the ministers are seated. Let's just honor the man of God. But I want to pray for you. The power of God will come on a few of you. Please, whether you are an usher or not, do well to help them so they don't injure themselves. Right now, I stretch my hands. Here at Calvary Bible Church. No, 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 no. Please go back, go back, please go back. I'm not saying you should come out. The power of God will bring them out by themselves. You just go back. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone under the sound of my voice, please return back. Who is a victim of delay? Right now, as I pray, the power of God will come on you. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace. Bring them out. Bring them out. Help them. Please bring them out. Hold that lady. Let her not enjoy herself. I cause delay. You are a spirit. Here at this global kingdom conference, we stand in the name of Jesus, sitting on the destinies of men. Every spirit, help this woman. Help this woman behind the man of God, please. Delay. Go. Delay. Go. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I cause delay in the name of Jesus. I cause delay from your life, from your habitation. I cause delay here at this global conference. The king is here. The kingdom is here. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. in one minute and cause every delay I release myself now in the name of Jesus are you praying you came to church to pray this is a conference for your lifting lift your voice and pray under this corporate anointing every delay help them that would not let me go in the name of Jesus I decree and declare liberty by the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Now, please listen. My goodness. Anyone here experiencing delay? That people are moving forward, but your destiny is staying in one place. Birthday after birthday, I stand in the name of Jesus in partnership with the grace upon your man of God. By prophecy, I push you to the next level. I push you to the next level. I have shaken back. Katoska, a break it on stead of a kata, a break it on skalikata, a shake it up, skamakatoskiata. I push you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name now listen to me please I understand there are many people in this assembly who are entrepreneurs business people I want to pray for you you see there is a grace for visibility it is one thing to have products and services that are needed and useful it is one thing to package those products in a superior way is one thing to have the ability to serve it to a targeted consumer base but you need the grace that makes for visibility in Acts chapter 12 the Bible says Peter was bound hand and feet and there were about eight soldiers locking him in the prison listen carefully Acts chapter 12 then the Bible says when the angel came the chains fell off and it reveals there a mystery he says that he went through the first gate he was out of the prison but he was still not safe he went to the second gate then the Bible makes an instructive statement that he came to the iron gate that opens up to the city there is a gate that opens up to the city listen carefully when that gate is open all you see is the city is a gate that controls visibility it is the iron gate you can have products and services you are not in prison but the city does not know you are there the Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder are you ready to receive in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God the grace that makes for visibility you don't have to bring them under the anointing because of space but I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number 31 3 1 in the name of Jesus everyone here who has what it takes for the world to celebrate you everyone here dreams and visions Sabadakata, help them products and services you have labored you've been well mentored by your man of God he has taught you the ethics of business but something is covering your visibility by this grace in the name of Jesus take that anointing I command the city to hear you Lagos hear them Lagos hear them Lagos hear them Southwest hear them Nigeria hear them please pay attention while still pray can I pray for restoration there is a grace that restores son of man he said can these bones live again hear me every time there were losses in the Bible of any kind it was the office of the prophetic to bring restoration any kind whether it was the axe head or the wives of the sons of the prophet. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. It is the office of the prophetic to speak restoration. He said they are taken for a prey and none say it, restore. You can lose things, but when you lose time, you really lost. But in the economy of God, he can restore things and he can restore time. Listen to me. There are people by the normal sequence of life. You should not be at this level. Things happen in your life. Restoration is not progress. Restoration is beyond progress. 
if you have been impeded by life once that constraint leaves you and you move forward that's not restoration that's progress restoration is God picking you and placing you where you would have been if that challenge were not there do you believe this please believe please believe please believe I want to declare restoration you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you at this prayer in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of my covenant for everyone here who is trusting God for any kind of restoration every destiny helper that must be used in this season to bring about a restoration I provoke their ministry over your life I provoke I provoke their ministry over your life hallelujah praise the name of the Lord we have a few minutes let me pray for the sick God is a God that heals I have been a victim of sickness myself I know what sickness can do I have seen the healing power of God myself I know healing is real there are men and women here following by TV internet and here in our local environment you are trusting God for miracles healing miracles listen to me Jesus heals his power heals lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for you right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the Lord. You're the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord. Come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the Lord. Let the weight of the glory. Let the light of your river flow. Let the truth of your kingdom let it reign in us. Let the weight of your glory. Please hear me. I know that we have a few minutes, but now listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pray for you, some of you already, by coming out here and all the things that happen, miracles have happened to you already. But here's what will happen. Please listen carefully. We'll still steal out a few minutes. We're going to pray. And as I rebuke that devil, I want you to expect real provable miracles. And the moment that happens, even if it's in five minutes, I'm going to ask you, the moment you find out the power of God has touched you, and you confirm that there is a miracle if we can have just one or two pastors just one or two of them I want those people to just rush and come and stand even if it's just two or three we take to validate the power and the grace of Jesus at work and then also at work in this assembly and in this commission is that fine are we together please lay your hands I want to pray a sign and a wonder but there's going to be a loud shout after that shout the healing power of God will begin to flow and I will pray 
I, I need to explain this because sometimes you see the way God works with us is really very mysterious why he does it sometimes a loud shout the power of God just comes upon a lady a loud shout sometimes I really don't know why that happens but I believe that is a, a sign and a wonder the Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous praise the name of the Lord the moment that shout happens then I'll begin to minister to the sick but you lay your hands right now I want to pray for you this is a supernatural power of God my God there's such a strong anointing such a strong anointing in this place you're already receiving but this is instruction God gives me the power of God will come upon someone a lady and so now we begin to pray please agree with me in the name of Jesus 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 now every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that your power is broken now let God's people go free now in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name my God just help those under the anointing be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name the power of God is going through your body now help them please help them be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now partial complete blindness be open now there are some people having pain pain at the back side your lumbar vertebra be healed the power of God is touching you right now every kind of bone condition you're here you're on crutches you're on a wheelchair you don't have to bring them out you don't have to bring those under the anointing out there's no space because some other people will come you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches right now I declare in the name of Jesus stand up stand up and lift your crutch and walk in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus every blood condition every genotype issue we change it now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now the Lord is ministering to me you don't have to come out there are a number of ladies with multiple lungs around your breast area the power of God is touching you right now after this prayer you check it you will not find it again in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a I don't know if it's a, there's a there's a gentleman you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck after this prayer you check it right now you'll find out that it's gone completely in the name of Jesus every blood condition goes right now migraine headache very severe pounding migraine headache the Lord is healing you right now I'm seeing someone you have this recurrent pattern it's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria every month no matter how well you treat it it still comes back the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing three people the Lord is healing them from pile in fact for one of you is a very severe issue you cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain we come in the name of the Lord Jesus let there be healing for you I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones lifting the pictures of your loved ones wherever they are and those of you following by way of TV following online in the name of Jesus here at Calvary Bible Church we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes to your offices in the name of Jesus your homes your offices your devices let there be miracles in the name of Jesus the Christ of God in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone your your this is my right your right ear 
your right ear you feel you know how this is like this water you are trying to get it to come out as soon as we are done praying check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus there is a woman you're, you're not exactly a young lady I'm saying that um, I don't know it's not appendicitis but there is a severe looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you I command that mass to disappear now the Lord is showing me a family your mother mama is in the hospital right now as I am speaking the power of God is touching her where she is this is this is a teaching hospital in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle Now, for time's sake, whether I mentioned your case specifically or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, he's been exalted both as Lord and as Christ. I declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, we have just five minutes to do that. I want you to check yourself inside and outside. Many of you are already seeing miracles. Check yourself very quickly. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened, please ushers allow them. File up here quickly. Quickly. Check yourself. People are coming. Are you celebrating people? Check yourself. Make your way out. Make sure you confirm the miracle and then be on your way. Then we'll do the final impartation. Celebrate them as they come, please. You can use... Where do we use? Okay, people are coming. Celebrate them. Oh, 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 Let's just honor some of these testimonies. You can keep coming. At, at least we will we'll find a way of documenting them. Yes, are you ready, sir? Go ahead. So, sorry, my name is Annie. And I've had this breast lump. You've had this breast lump? Yes. For how long? It's over six months now. But by prayers in this altar, it was discovered I wasn't cancerous. But the lump has been there. So it's been an issue of concern. Okay. So each time I'm always touching it, it's always, I'm always worried. Yes. Even if they say it's no longer cancer by prayers I had from this. What place. happened now? But by, when the prayer was going on, I just checked and the lump had... My God. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus the Christ. Yes, please. Very quickly. My name is Mosin Peter. Okay. I was having a pain in my waist and it's over two months now. Okay. After the prayer, the completely pain. gone. Bend, bend down, bend down. Any pain? Any pain? Are you celebrating miracles here? In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare it's gone and gone forever. Yes, please. My name is Damilola. I yesterday night I noticed that I I wasn't feeling movement. In, I'm, I'm I'm pregnant. Oh yeah, I can see now. So just as you asked us to, even till this morning, and you were not feeling movement. I was not feeling movement of the baby. Yes, sir. And My just God. as you asked us to place her hands. On any part, I said I feel movement, strong movement. Yeah, you are of the universe. What can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You want the name above every other name. What can you take? And right now the baby moved let her finish the testimony go ahead yes the baby moved. completely place your hand there how many months are you i'm eight months gone. eight months yes, sir. in the name of jesus deliver like the hebrew women yeah. i stretch my hands no complication mother and baby are fine we release you right from this altar 
towards your safe delivery in the name of Jesus. Are you ready, sir? Go ahead. My name is Kolade. Uh, I've been having this stomach ulcer for long now. But the moment I placed my hand there, I discovered that it's, uh, it's gone. Completely? Yes. yes How long has it been? It's up to 12 years now before my mother died. Lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you. Never returns to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Abigail. I normally have migraine headache and one side of my eyes always swell up every two, three years. One so, side, come again. My name is Abigail. I uh -huh. normally have migraine headache. One side of my eyes. I don't know pressure. Which of them? Is. Which of, okay, I see. Uh-huh. So, when you were praying, the pain come over, but now I'm no more hearing the pain again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it goes never to return again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Olan Rawaju. I've been having an um, issue of pile. Even pile? Pile, yeah. So, for a long time. How long can you remember? Okay. For a long time. Okay. So, you mentioned my case and I, be, I believe, I felt a relief and I believe. In the I name believe. of Jesus, you go for a very formal checkup and you will find out that a miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel. Recently, I was diagnosed some one month ago with secondary hypertension. I've been having serious secondary chest pain. Secondary hypertension? Yes, ah. yes. I've been having very serious chest pain. I came to church. I was having, it was very severe. Really very severe. But um, as I started praying, I kept my hand on my chest. Now I do not feel any pain. Completely. Even palpitations, I do not feel any one. The palpitations are gone. Yes. In gone. the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, you go forth in joy, you are led forth in peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. My name is Wisdom Isaac. I was having severe head pain since two weeks. But Headache. And right now, yes, now it's, it's gone, gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Chia Rokichuko. For three months now, I've been having, I fainted and I went to the hospital. They said I should not be fasting again. Even I'm going to church, I'll test something. But today, I decided not to test anything because I believe I'll be healed. Because the pace is severe. I can't breathe. I'll be feeling fainting. So as I was there, I was feeling the fainting. But when prayer was going on, the pain disappeared. That, that evil spirit manifesting as infirmity i declare here at this conference you are released from it now amen. never to be a victim of it again amen in the name of jesus christ amen yes please hallelujah my name is christian godwin on sunday last week sunday after service i received this attack on my health that i, I could not even barely work enough after administration so i had to in the evening, oh, I had to be the man, rushed. that pastor. Yes, sir. Okay. So I had to be rushed. My member had to rush me. I had to, I had to just go to the hospital because it was so strange. After administration, after service, the grace, I went to have cancer. And what happened now? So then I went to the hospital, and since then I came to Lagos. And now I've been praying for God to fully restore back my strength. And as you were praying, the Lord restored my strength. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, He restored my soul. Let your restoration be perfected. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Yes, sir. My name is Bright Obey. Yes, I'm a minister of the gospel. Wow. This pile has been disturbing great occurrence. I can't count the years. For the past three days, I've not been able to ease myself well. And when I go to the third, I don't even want my wife to see because of the kind of blood that you come out. But as oh my God. when I was sitting down here, I find it difficult because of the pain. But right now, completely. <laughs> You see, listen, when miracles happen like this, among the many things you must learn to discern miracles, miracles don't just show that a man is powerful. There is a dimension to that, but miracles are a revelation of the love of Jesus. Miracles are also a revelation of the might and the power of Jesus. Are we together now? But then to really benefit from miracles, you have to discern the message every miracle has a letter written in it don't throw away the envelope because you are rejoicing over what is there there is still something in it 
miracles are a letter from Jesus saying I am still Lord saying I still love you and it plants faith in you and some of the things that happen in the bodies of men are if God can open up a blocked intestine or a blocked tube it means he can open up a door a business door you must discern and know how to prophetically discern and apply miracles to your life if a blind eye opens it means if God can open a human eye God can open a door yes, sir. are we together now sir we thank you and we honor you for coming out to share this testimony is it alright if I say a word of prayer for you I stand by the election of grace and I declare may your ministry shift to a new level from today Amen. I come by the privilege of the election of grace I pray that every dimension you desire, even in this season, may you begin to step in it. And this pile that is cursed here on this ground, it is cursed now and cursed forever. In the name of Jesus. We have a few minutes. We have to work with time. Yes, Praise please. The Lord. A lump in my left breast just left now. My I'm God. My God. In the name of Jesus Christ. It never returns to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, please go ahead. I think I think the Lord. Last two years, I have accidents on the leg. My, my you have come accident, again. Accident, accident. Yes. Oh my God. And the bone got broken. So the bone. Time. Which of them? Yes. Last week, the uh, bone got broken. Got broken. Verified in the hospital. Yes, sir. And what happened now? But now, since that time, I'm fleeing in that pain. Yes. They told me that I have to remove the leg. The leg is, is like the, um, like they say, oh, they say that I have to cut the leg. Yes. From, but thank God, they cut one rabbi to do something on the leg. But that I was feeling in that pain inside the bone. But now, as you pray for me, I love it. My friend, walk. Walk. Accident. Broken bone. May everything that has gone out of joint, out of alignment in your life, by reason of this miracle I speak to you, in the name of Jesus, may bone come to his bone. May business come to his business. May relationship come to his relationship. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Healing, perfection for you. Yes, please. Praise God. My name is Chris Akinyoshi. So, when you were speaking about um, Pi, and told me so I receive pain and that pain moves out of me when you speak yes Thank you, it's Jesus. gone completely in the name of Jesus it never returns to you I want to hear the testimony is, is that a young lady let me hear her testimony not not well yes do and then the, the little one yes my name is Miracle since last week I've been having can so you true. imagine what a name since last week I've been having so true I almost lost my voice and I didn't come for the kingdom you had so true. Okay, okay, okay. I almost lost my voice and I didn't come for the kingdom conference because of that. And what happened now? It's gone already. Right. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you. Uh huh. My name is Up and Favor. I want to thank God because I've been healed from abdominal pain. Since when I was little till now, I've been feeling the pains. But today, I've been healed completely. Oh my God. Check yourself. Yes. No pain. It never returns to you again in the name of Jesus you will never forget this conference I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit you see this is why it is important to invite people to church it is more than just trying to promote a man's assignment you are giving people an opportunity to experience Jesus I was glad he said when they said unto me these are procedures that sometimes would cost thousands of naira dollars and yet in a moment in the twinkling of an eye by the power of the Holy Spirit let's take two more and then we'll have to wrap up for the sake of our time yes please go ahead um, my name is Deborah I, um, I was diagnosed of fibroid two years ago uh -huh. and then um, usually I still have pain on my pelvic area and it, it causes um, pain monthly my monthly but as um, the prayer was going on. I just sat down after the prayer because I felt, well, God has done the miracle. 
But I started um, trying to um, contrast my stomach, yes. stomach, stomach, and then press it. I can't feel that stiffness anymore. I can't feel. I can't feel it anymore. The power of God is a wonder to behold. A wonder to behold. In the name of Jesus Christ, this healing remains permanent. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One more person from you and then we'll pray generally. My name is Jerome Eugene. I'm a footballer. When I was young, around 14 years old, I had an injury. But I didn't treat it very well. So it came out to be something very serious. So I went to the hospital. The doctor said I can't play football again because the leg used to swell up on its own. Okay. So on its Which own of them? Swell, left or right? Right foot. Okay. Uh -huh. So we swell up on its own. So at the time I was praying and God showed me like an encounter that the leg is okay. But out of faith I didn't believe. I still went to another hospital again. What happened now? The doctor now? said the same thing. Now I just felt that the pain is no more there. Check and yourself. And You're a leg, footballer. And, and the swelling up I just... Go ahead. Resolved. Check yourself. Do what you would do in the field. Any pain? Look at that. Hallelujah. Are you a serious footballer? You plan to go very far. Can I pray for you? It takes more than a ball and a skin. Stand up. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that when God lifts you, you will behave yourself wisely. You see, we're tired of praying for people that God will lift and then eventually they will act as if it's not God that lifted them. But we pray for you. We must be able to trust God for believers to be strategically positioned across every sphere of influence. Politics, governance, sports. There must be people there who defend the interest of the Christ. And we pray for you, my friend. More than a ball, more than the money, more than the fame, more than the glamour. May you truly be an ambassador. And every grace and every provision, every favor that must be made for your lifting may god here on this ground i pray that many years from now you will return back as a professional footballer and you will come and testify in the name of jesus you take that grace and do exploits for jesus yes please two more and then we're done are you getting blessed in this service yes please praise the lord i want to thank god because god healed me in three ways um because i was diagnosed with glaucoma so this morning I couldn't really see well, but during the ministration I could see clearly. Hallelujah. Then um, I had um, multiple lumps on my breast. Multiple. Yes, yeah, sir. Verified. Verified. So they're gone now. I can't Completely. Yeah. My God. Then I also had a tumor in my tummy, but I felt it melting. And now you see how demonic Satan can be. Glaucoma, multiple lumps, tumor. That's the assignment of Satan. You know he has passed a life when you see these evidences. But the Bible says for this purpose was the son of man, God made manifest that he may destroy. My sister, look at me. This is the house of God. This is what happens when we come to the house of God. Lay your hands there. We pray for you as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Universal. I stand here and in the name of Jesus, we declare and we decree perfection, wholeness from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. It never returns. You will return back with joy and you will tell people you found Jesus, you found his power in church. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in Jesus name. Let's take the last one and then I'll pray generally for them. Yes, please. My name, my name is Abengwe Uchi. I'm a fashion designer. I had during my university days, I had an accident that brought about a shift in my hip joint. A shift? And a shift in my hip joint. Okay. So it's always difficult for me to make clothes if I'm, in the, if I'm making my designs. I, if I sit, standing up is difficult. Yes. If I stand for long, I feel like I feel pain. What happened now? Now I can stand. I don't believe I can stand up to this time. Sit down and stand up. Please just let, let him just sit there. Okay, stand up. Goodness, sit down again. Stand up. Calvary Bible Church, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, not only will God make whole your hip bone, in the name of Jesus, that which you do, may you dress kings. In the name of Jesus, may you dress nobles.
Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.